I'm only doing this video to say I told you so. OK Magazine is reporting that Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle and Mauricio's divorce storyline could be just that, a fake storyline to be more interesting. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, I was a, one of the voices that you heard. Did they grow apart? Their kids are leaving the home. During the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer, but I told you in my recap of the trailer, it felt very interesting that this Mauricio and Kyle divorce separation drama came towards the end of the season, but the trailer made it feel like it was happening the entire season. Well, now OK Magazine is pretty much proving what I've been saying and feeling about all of this drama, including Morgan, the Morgan Wade situation and them being pictured out so often. I feel like that was all strategic to set us up for this season. So OK, OK Magazine is writing this. They said that according to a recent source, Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky are faking their separation in order to have an interesting storyline in for season 13 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They said that if you know Kyle, you know that she wanted a juicy storyline to save her spot on the Bravo series, an insider claimed of uh, the the brunette beauty. She knows what she's doing. Who said this to you guys? I told you, look, look, told you so. You know, Taurus, when we're right, we'd like to tell you. And one of the things that I told you originally, I said, I feel like Kyle has been in this business too long to start taking off her ring and walking around town knowing she's going to be photographed without the ring. She knows what she's doing. You also may recall in a recent podcast episode from Bethany Frankel, because, you know, Bethany has been spilling all the Bravo tea. She said that she used to like people like Lisa Renner. She used to like Kyle Richards. But she's seen what this machine, a.k.a. Andy Cohen, has done to these people that she's known for a very long time. They continue. They said... If the source's allegations are correct, the couple's tricks seemingly worked as the separation drama was the center of the new Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer. If there was infidelity, would you say? I don't know. Every time I go online, I see something about someone cheating. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So OK Magazine reported that they showed Caesar heavily focused on the couple's supposed split, including a scene where Richards was bawling over the end of her marriage. So much so she included her entire family in that scene. Awkward. So they said complete strangers are like you made us. This is what Kyle said in the trailer. Complete strangers are like you made us believe in true love. And now it's now it's all. And I and honestly, when she said that in the trailer, I said. Oh. <laughs> Never did I. I did not look at Kyle and Mauricio's relationship drama or their relationship in general as a relationship to look up to, especially because the streets have been talking about Mauricio for years. Let's talk about that true story, allegedly. As you know, Erica in that particular scene chimed in and said, this is true love. There are only two people in this marriage. Everybody else's opinion can F off. Okay. So the clip then cuts to co-star Sutton Strack in her confessional stating, every time I go online, I see something about someone cheating. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Kyle's not wearing a wedding band. <laughs> My Southern accent. Okay. Here's the thing. Kyle and Sutton are pretty close as well. And the fact that Sutton has been so messy in regards to talking about that in, in the trailer makes me believe this fake storyline even more. Because normally Kyle would be like, I'm done with you. I'm not dealing with you. I, you're no longer my friend. And she might play that up so, for some more drama, too. So the preview also features Richard's rumored girlfriend, country singer Morgan Wade. And then we literally have a video, music video that Morgan did, who none of us would have known without Kyle, who apparently is involved in the management or something in regards to Morgan. Playing this up, these affair rumors being flirtatious and overly sexual with each other in the music video that she released that I, I don't know, know the name of the song or care. Dorit Kemsley sh shared her suspicions too, asking Richards about her tattoo of Wade's initials. 
And I know what you're thinking. Kempire, do you think they would go as far as to um, do tattoos of people's initials? Yes. This is Hollywood. She would get a nose job and tell you, oh, you know, I couldn't breathe on the left side, so I had a nose job. So when she removes it from her, I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. But if she removes it from it, she was like, I'm going to get a whole new arm. <laughs> I had to remove that, that tattoo. So OK Magazine reminds us, and they say that before sitting down with her daughters, Farah, Alexia, and Sophia, to break the news about their split, the real estate mogul told Richards, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad it's you that, that's out there having an affair. Just glad it's you out there having an affair. For once, it's me. Yes, Kyle, let's talk about the truth. Let's talk about the truth. So they say, uh, Kyle said this as well in the trailer. She says, we are a very strong family and we'll always, and we'll, and we always will be. Always will be. Nothing can change that. And you literally see the daughters crying in the scene. Are you going this far affecting your children? Because I don't know if they're in on the on the storyline. Honestly, I don't know if they're in on the storyline. So you may recall that Mauricio recently opened up about his marital issues. He said, you know, we're hanging in there. We're working through all of, all of our things, which everybody knows about. We're just taking it day by day. He divulged. We're trying not to let the press influence us and all the social media and all of the stuff that's going on. So we're trying to just ignore that and figure that out ourselves i can tell you we are both happy so during a recent amazon live kyle richards spilled about how difficult the separation has been for her when asked how she how she was she replied that's a very loaded question you know this has been a very hard hard to do because it's playing out with so many people having eyes on us and with us being in the public eye she says obviously we care about each other a lot she said of her husband of 27 years and I would believe that Andy Cohen's in on it. You remember on the red carpet, I believe it was the Roni premiere. He was on the red carpet and I forgot who he was. He was talking about talking to Bryn and he's like, I hear he's available in regards to Mauricio. Andy's in on it. He wants to kind of, he knew what he was doing by saying that. Kyle was not upset at him for doing that. He's in on the whole, let's, we want this to be a monumental season because some of y'all made them believe that the season was going to be lackluster without Lisa Renna. So I believe that Andy Cohen's in on it and he that was very intentional what, what he was doing. Like you don't just say something like that about someone else's marriage. Okay? And I already told you, I didn't believe this this whole separation. She stuck beside this man for how almost 30 years despite all of the damning claims against him. Come on now. And I've never believed or was even interested in this fake, phony lesbian relationship that she's having with Morgan Wade, who you're trying to push on us as a musical artist. And we still don't care. Some people did care. And some of you did the dirty work for Bravo and this production company to promote this, this season. But me, honestly, I don't feel like Lisa Renna carried the show. I'm looking forward to the season. I'm not looking forward to Kyle Richards and this fake storyline of a marriage situation. I'm looking forward to seeing everything else and seeing these new additions. But of course, here we are talking about it because I just came here to tell you, I told you so. Fake. <laughs> Phony. Fraudulent. Any more words to describe Kyle? <laughs> oh, Kyle. Woo, 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 Kyle. You'll be fine. You've been fine the last 30 years. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to the news that this might be a fake storyline. Did you believe me when I said it? As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.